In this lesson, we'll uh, again do something a little bit fun and creative. Um, we want to basically we're going to do an in place family component and kind of do a sweep that goes all the way around um, the top of the wall uh, like a profile, like a parapet cap, a precast kind of parapet cap. Now we might skip these parts, but I'm going to just basically include the entire top with this precasting. So this is what we do. We create an in-place family component. Um, I'm going to go architecture, hit the fly out on component and say model in place. And I need to pick a Revit category, wall, door, window, whatever. I'm going to say this is a wall category and I can give it a name and call it. And I always put numbers on the end of things. Parapet cap one, we go into kind of a sketch mode here. Okay. So we can create an extrusion, a blend, a revolve, a sweep, a sweep blend, all kinds of neat little forms and shapes. So what we're going to do is create a sweep, a solid sweep, and we're going to use the pick path. That way we can pick the edges of the roof. So we say pick path, and all I'm going to do is pick the edge of that wall, click, pick the top of here, click, and see the pink lines. Now the first one you pick is where you're going to sketch the profile. We can... Um, actually move that to a different wall after the fact but just be aware let's undo this back one time let's say you wanted to draw the profile it doesn't matter which one you draw but maybe you want to draw it on this edge then what you want to do is pick this edge first and then it puts up our work plane and you want it to be kind of your edge to be square okay so all i'm doing now is i'm picking the edges you might want to turn off the surface pattern also of the wall it might get in the way but all i'm doing is i'm just picking the edges 3d edges of the walls again it has to be a closed polygon okay tl on the keyboard for thin lines okay trim this guy and this guy the rest of these are probably okay i need to trim this guy and this guy if these corners were mitered with the walls they would have automatically uh, been trimmed into the edges, but these corners are, are not mitered. You see how they're butt connected? If there was a miter join using the, um, the wall cornered join tool, okay? So I think that's it. Now watch, we say finish. That, it worked, it let us finish it. So now it says, okay, what do you want to do? We want to say edit the profile. We're going to draw a profile. So now what we need to do is draw the profile of what we're going to sweep. That's the path that's going to follow. So let's go to a front view, nice and square, okay? Now I need to see my wall thickness. So temporarily, I'm gonna switch this over to say wireframe. Now I can kind of see my wall. I'm going, going to exaggerate this just to make it kind of look bigger. So this is the, the point it's going to, the path it's gonna follow. So I'm just gonna draw a line. And all I'm gonna do again is I'm gonna exaggerate this a little bit, just to get it to look right. And then, you know, maybe I'll, do something like this and then, you know, for whatever reason, just to get the effect, okay? And then I can trim these edges. Escape, escape. Now I am in a 3D view, so if I shift middle mouse, you can see there is the shape. That little profile is going to go, whoop, it's going to sweep all the way around here. We finish. It does the sweep. We finish again. And we're done. And now I can switch this back to be shaded mode. And there we have our nice little parapet cap. Let's pick on this wall and swivel watch. Pick on, oh, I need to do one more finish, my mistake. There we go. Now pick on the wall, shift middle mouse, get an angle like this, and you can see there's that profile, okay? That's being swept around. So um, really nice feature. You can do all kinds of neat stuff with that. So there is our... Um, exterior wall with our parapet and our parapet cap. And again, in my case, I'm going to do a save as project and give this number 19 and 